right, it is 5.59 a.m. Saturday morning. We just made our way into the park. We are driving up to Glacier Gorge parking lot right now. We're on Bear Lake Road. And today we're going for the Black Lake. You guys ready? Yep. yep. It's like a full moon out there. 6.01. Okay, so we're at uh, the Bear Lake Trailhead right now. Unfortunately, there's no parking at Glacier Gorge, so. We're going to take the Alberta Falls Trail to Glacier Gorge. One mile to Alberta Falls. All right, let's go. It is 6.15 a.m. We're on the Bear Lake to Glacier Gorge cut through. And we're going to be hiking up to Black Lake. It's going to be about a 10 mile day, probably about six hours. Supposed to have some storms coming in around noon, so we're gonna be done by then. The sun's just coming up here. Alright, we just made it to Lower Alberta Falls. We're about 20 minutes into this hike, about one mile in. We're now two miles into the trail and it's been hiking for one hour and we just passed up Alberta Falls and we're at Glacier Knobs right now. Yep, about to make our way over to Mills Lake. We're almost at the trail junction where the lock is. Beautiful morning here, it's about 7 a.m. There's Thatch Top behind us. We got Half Mountain right here. And then looking out the Estes, see the sun coming up. Beautiful morning. All right, so here we are on the south side of Glacier Knob, making our way into the Mills Lake area. We were just here two days ago when we hiked Andrews Glacier. All right, so we just arrived at the Mills Lake Junction and Sky Pond Junction and Black Lake is 2.8 miles away from here, and then Mills Lake is 2.6 miles away from here. And, and we are yeah. 2.5 into this hike, hour and 13 minutes. Should be up there in a couple hours. We've done the lock, Sky Pond, Andrews, Hyaya, Mills. Last one, Black Lake, we're doing that now. Last one. Yeah. All right, boys. Let's there's, there's elk over there. All right, 2.8 miles into this hike. We're about an hour and 20 minutes in. You can see Glacier Knob behind me. We just came through this way. And we are now heading south into Glacier Gorge.
Just made it to Mills Lake. We're about 3.2 miles into the Black Lake Trail, a little more than halfway there. Just checking out Mills Lake for a few minutes here, and we're gonna keep heading up to the Black Lake. Next stop, Jewel Lake. Okay, so we just made it to Jewel Lake. Uh, we're about less than two miles away from Black Lake right now. And yeah, I'm gonna relax here for a bit. A lot of elk on the trail this morning. We've seen at least 10 right around Mills Lake and Jewel Lake. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Still no sun in Glacier Gorge, but should be up in the next half hour, I would think. All right, we're 3.8 miles in. We are just getting past Jewel Lake. Probably not another two miles up to Black Lake. So we're gonna keep moving. Okay, we are 4.6 miles into the Black Lake hike. You can see right behind me, the sun is just about to come up. It's about 9 a.m. Probably got, I don't know, a mile or so left, maybe 0.8 or something like that. Beautiful morning here in Glacier Gorge. And you can see, here's Arrowhead peeking out.
All right, so we are about five and a half miles into this hike, walking up Ribbon Falls right now, getting really close to Black Lake here. Sun's just peeking into the gorge. Look at that. So we just arrived at Black Lake. We're like five and a half miles into a, a glacier gorge. And here's Black Lake. Right, we've made it to the Black Lake. Ben found a good snack spot. Yeah. All right, so what are we doing, guys? Okay, so we're gonna do 500 feet of elevation. All right, we're at Black Lake. Let's keep going. So unfortunately, we can't get up to Blue Lake because we're already six and a half miles in. So we got a long way to go. So let's go back.
Either that way or this way. All right, well, we didn't quite make it to Blue Lake or Frozen Lake. We hiked about a mile past Black Lake up into the Upper Glacier Gorge, and we got about 6.6 .6 miles in. It started to get a little sketchy, some of the areas, so we just decided to turn around. Our goal was to make it to Black Lake today, which we did, and the trail going up into Upper Glacier Gorge from the Black Lake was absolutely gorgeous. Great views of, of the Black Lake looking down right along that stream, a little rock scramble coming up. Really happy we went up there today. Probably gonna close this one out 12 and a half, 13 miles today. We're on our way down from Black Lake, making our way down to Jewel Lake. It's a great hike, we're about five hours in. Catch you later. It. All right, we are making our way down still from Upper Glacier Gorge. We're on the fire trail right now. We decided to take the cut off, <laughs> save us about a mile, even though it's a little slippery at times. But we're about uh, about ten and a half miles into this hike. Probably got about a mile left. We love the fire trail coming down. We just got to the opening on the fire trail. Otis Peak, Hallett Peak behind me there. We're gonna keep making our way down. How you guys doing? Tired. Tired? Yeah. So how would you rate this one? Uh, probably about like a nine and a half. Nine and a half? Yeah. How about you, Brian? Eight. Eight? All right, so we are just finishing up Upper Glacier Gorge and the Black Lake. We are almost back to the Glacier Gorge parking lot. Today's hike was 11 and a half miles, hiking about seven and a half hours, about 2000 total elevation gain. Great hike, glad we got up there. Would love to explore Glacier Gorge, the Upper Glacier Gorge more. We'll have to camp though, so we could spend like a whole day up there. But it was a good one today. Looking forward to getting back to the house and relaxing. Until the next hike.